this function is m, f of m is m plus four times m plus five times m plus six. Well, that's, that's really three consecutive integers there. So th this is just a sneaky way of saying we have three consecutive integers multiplied together. You, you'll often also see this in n, n plus one, n minus one. You see that a lot too. That's three consecutive integers multiplied together. Well, we know three consecutive integers, one of them has to be a multiple of three. Uh, so three consecutive integers multiplied together is always divisible by three. And also at least one of them has to be a multiple of two. So three consecutive integers, the, the rule remember is that multiplied together, it's always divisible by two, three, and therefore six as well. Three consecutive integers multiplied together is always divisible by two, three, and six.